It might look like a tool that the Ghostbusters use, but this new piece of equipment is awesome. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We've got new mod and a bunch of updates for you. Six updates, in fact, today. And I am dubbing today the day of Matt 26 because I believe he has five mod updates that he has sent out all awesome and it is great to see modders sending out so many updates to their mods making them as good as they possibly can be so you know what let's check it out first up today we have the two shell sweet plus 590 this is basically just a broom that's all it is but it's got stuff inside of it that'll hold stuff doesn't hold a lot to be fair it only holds 280 liters so you will have to dump it eventually but it is super cool let's check it out where are you gonna find this it's gonna be your tools it's gonna be miscellaneous and we have two different options to choose from we have one that's a telehandler and one that is a three point here it is the two shell sweet plus as you can see it holds every single crop that is awesome that very important because we can find anything that's on the ground and boop, pop it in there and i'm assuming in seasons this will work with snow as well very cool doesn't require a whole lot 93 horsepower does go six miles per hour when you are using it says helps keep the farm clean collects everything and can be emptied afterwards cool well let's pop in let's just check out the normal version eight thousand six hundred and eighty dollars and if you want to lease it 442 this is going to be really good for cleaning up your animals now it's not going to be great if you're trying to clean up a whole bunch but we're going to check it out anyway we also have a version for telehandler which is the exact same price boom right there i would say the telehandler version uh, it's a little tough if you're not sure about arm controls it may be a little tough to get it completely flat and working correctly however with the three point it's literally just up and down that is it so let's pop in let's check it out so we can raise it and lower it and we can also fold it folding it is going to bring the brush up and unfolding it's going to bring the brush down now i've got a thousand liters of silage here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it down i'm going to turn it on and as you can see it is holding but it is kind of just dumping out in front it's quite interesting it's a, a neat little bugger for sure so right now we have 224 liters of silage in it and now we have 257 liters of silage in it the confusing part is i put down a thousand liters on the ground so there's that let's pull up the help window and see how are we gonna unload it says unload here you know what let's just try it unload and it dumped it on the ground right in front of us okay interesting let's try it again let's go through and we've got it all up with a little bit less this time let's unload that <laughs> it's an inception i've got it turned on and <laughs> hey now we've got 280 liters again it's an interesting piece of equipment and i'm not sure if i will be using this but I think you just have to sit there and, and work with it for a couple minutes. You'll probably get the hang of it right there. It's not a bad mod. It just doesn't hold a lot. But it's a small thing anyway. There you go. There is a two shell sweep plus 590. Let me know if you're going to be using this. Everything else today is going to be an update. And this is the only update that is not a Mat 26 update. This is the Ursus 904. Changelog 1.0.1. Fix mirrors, roof and door animations, and new store and icon cool so no extra customization however when we jump in let's go ahead and turn the help window on we can well it says lift crane arm but that's definitely not a crane arm that's called a roof and we can open the roof roof is on fire <laughs> god terrible jokes and then if we hold uh rb and lb or r1 and l1 let's see it says rotate crane tool all right so it looks like we've got a door open that way that may be the first door that's open that way and door open that way neat yo i dig it we can close everything off boom boom <laughs> you want to roll with both of the, the doors open go for it let's see if we can get these closed up there we go 
Not too shabby. That's cool. I love seeing animation like that on tractors. That is really neat. Now we're getting into the Mat 26 updates. This is the first one. This is the Case IH 7200 series, or as you're seeing, the Steyr 9000 series. Change log 1.1.1. Fix the Steyr logo on the door and change the price. So there you go. If you guys are using this, again, as always, I highly recommend that you update unless it's a bad update, which I've only seen one. And an update to the Pottinger Euroboss 330T. Change along 1.0.1, added foliage bending. And you're gonna see a trend of that through all of these mods. So now the foliage will bend when you're rocking over it. And an update to the Bison Z056 cutter trailer. This is just the trailer. So it's not the cutter, it's not the, the harvester, it's just the trailer part. But this is cool. So we have now multicolor and of course, added foliage bending to this. This mod right here, this uh, harvester and header, this was a mod for the mod contest. And this is the in-game version. So they, they changed up some stuff, changed the color, uh, changed up a couple things around it as well. But we didn't have a header trailer that matched it. Now, all of the color options match. So the wheel options and the color options match everything that you get with that harvester. It's not just blue. There's about, I don't know, 10 or 15 different color choices. Rims, etc. That is so cool. Man, that is an awesome update. We've got an update to the Metal Tech PBD-8. Change log 1.0.2. Extended the back and, of course, added foliage bending. Let's check out the back. The back is most certainly extended. Very cool. This is a neat little trailer right here. Uh, it is not auto load, but you can hook a bunch of these together. If you guys are playing a little bit more realistic, I highly recommend this trailer. And lastly today, the Case IH 1030 18 foot header. If you guys are using this harvester right here and you're not using the 18 foot, you're still using the uh, 15 foot, what are you doing? You need to get yourself one of these. Change log 1.0.1, added smoke, change the price, added foliage bending and new store and icon. So there you go. There's an update to the Case IH 1030 18 foot header well guys that is gonna be it for today nice short sweet to the point very good and useful mods today hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a like if you've not already make sure you get subscribed to the channel and click that notification bell so you're always notified anytime we do new mods farm sim news map updates etc etc at least you guys join the go ham fam that being said hope you have a great day we will see you later peace